Good afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon service with Mr. Hollow Point. Thank you for coming on and joining the crowd. It's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, it is Sunday afternoon, and we've already been to church service, so now it's time to play. It's air gun time. What I wanted to touch on today was a two-parter, or not really two-parter, but two parts of the same part in parcel. If you're following me, the Texan 50 with the 3000 PSI aluminum bottle, which I haven't done before, and stay using the yield hand pump to fill it up. And the reason I wanted to do this is. A lot of folks travel by air when they're going on their trip and if you've ever done it you know that taking a carbon fiber tank they won't let you do it I mean unless you've got this strapped to your face as a breathing apparatus they're not gonna let you get they want to look inside to make sure there's no explosives drugs or um, human kidney parts I don't know but so if you're traveling to air gun hunt Taking this bottle is not going to work, but these have gone down from $350 to 50 bucks on Amazon. Now this is a no-name Wang, but it gets the job done. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I've watched a lot of those international off-road competitions with giant monster 4x4s. These are what they use to fill up those giant tires on their, you know, their giant SUV rock climbers. Because this will hit 4,500, which is a lot more than the 28 or whatever is needed in the tire. So, today I figured we'd cover both. We're going to do the Texan 50 with the aluminum bottle, 3,000 PSI fill. And I'm filling it with the hand pump. And if I can do it with my asthma, you can do it. Okay, so follow along. Again, this will be a short video. We're going to shoot some lead jot some numbers and show you what's happening with the with the aluminum bottle of course since it's not the carbon fiber it's a lower fill with the tx2 valve the 50 tx2 valve your numbers are going to be smaller okay it's just the way it's just the way it is okay but at least you can do it so you're not having to run around with a carbon fiber bottle you can still do 3000 or if you've got scuba tanks and so on you can still have fun with the Monster 50. And that's the whole point of this, is having fun. So, let's get to it, guys. Come on along. So, here's what we're going to shoot today in the aluminum tank test. The 510s. The Texan 50 cal. Uh, let's see, get some more light on here. Eight hundred. Oh, oh, my back and my front. Well, guys, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Bobby Boucher, you can do it all night long. Yes, 3,000 PSI with the hand pump. It can be done. There's a $50 pump off Amazon. Uh, they got different ones. This is just some no-name Wang. Uh, it's up to you on what you want to deal with. But I just wanted to show that it can be done. And if you're flying any place, you know they give you a headache with your carbon fiber tank. So it's better to have a hand pump and a 3,000 PSI bottle because it's much easier to hit 3,000 than 36 and a quarter. You know, this is all you have to work with. Oh, 
All right, let's get videoing. Ooh, guys, it's cold down here. Okay, 3,000 PSI, 50 cal, power dial maxed out. 255. 255, it's nice to be alive. I used a flashlight to see the crony because it's so far away. Okay, on the Air Force gauge, it's just above 2,000 PSI, five shots. So that's where we'll stop at. I'll say 2,100. Okay, buddy, that's a lot of hand pump in there. If you like doing the stroke, this is for you. But no matter how you slice it, this is a lot of work. It's not for the faint of heart, you young guys. But the way these pumps work, if I understand correctly, is there's like a three-stage piston setup in here. So as you're pushing down, it goes from one piston to the next to the next and that's how it pushes um, so and I believe on the upstroke it also does something I'm not a hundred percent sure but in a pinch when you travel you can't get away with the hand pump and that's what we were trying to do today uh, got some good numbers here if you look at the chart that I'm gonna put in right now The 255, 477 foot-pounds. The 270, 507 foot-pounds. The new 345, 552 foot-pounds. That's some good energy. The 385, 545 foot-pounds. As you're getting heavier, the heavier in the bullet, it's starting to drop back just a little bit. But none of these numbers are shabby. The 445... 578 in the 500 grain that's 639 foot pounds so you're still knocking some heavy numbers out with this 3000 psi aluminum tank so there's nothing you don't have to go carbon fiber if it's not in your wheelhouse some guys just don't have the availability to tanks and boost your pumps and a source of air, especially if you live out west or you're on a farm or you're up on the island someplace and you just don't have access to large air volume. 3000 PSI will still get the job done efficiently, quickly, and there's still a ton of power. So I'm liking this. I really am. I've always been a 3000 PSI type of guy. So with that being said, Take a look at that. Think about it. I don't know the price cost. I don't know the difference in the carbon fiber setup versus the aluminum tank setup. That's going to be between you and your Texan vendor. But give it a 
give it a check, give it a look, check it out, see what, uh, you know, it might fit what you're looking to do. Thank you. I want to say thank you Air Force for all the great work you're doing, uh, for giving me more things to play with and videotape. I wouldn't even have thought about this until somebody mentioned it. So, as always, if you guys have any ideas or questions or things you want me to look at, shoot me an email. Um, I don't respond to YouTube very much, uh, too many trolls on there, people that aren't serious. But hit the, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that good stuff. But if you got serious questions, send me an email. It's on my webpage. It's in every video. Uh, and I'll do my best to answer your question. Uh, anything else, go directly to the source. Contact Air Force. That's their product. They're going to know better than I will. I'm just the uh, aftermarket average Joe. So I like to play and see what we can do. And anything I can do, you can do better. Did you say Ted Nugent Pork Slam? I heard you. You said Ted Nugent Pork Slam. Guys, if you haven't done a Pork Slam with Uncle Ted, it's something you should seriously think about. Once in a lifetime, do it. The price is expensive, but it's once in a lifetime. I'm telling you right now. Nothing but pure air, pure awesome with Uncle Ted is the most excellent way to spend your mortgage. Take it from me, Mr. Hollow Point.